Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Okay guys, I pulled one of my stabs out of the bag and trimmed it. I think it's just going to be just super fantastic. Super fantastico. That's like up there, man. New Ultra Light Generation Three System. <laughs> we'll break the four ounce barrier. That's been my goal for a while now. And I think I'm going to do it. I think, I think, I think I'm going to make it there, guys. But we won't know. We will not know until I get this out of the mold. I'm pretty confident. I'm just going to take it and trim it. Just trim a lot easier. Well, it was pretty cold last night and it didn't set up as much as I'd like it to. I like them to be cured when I trim them. They stay in the mold better. Don't want to lift up. You gotta be careful. You, you know, because they will lift up. And if they do, uh, resin will get in between the part and the side. It ain't no big deal. It scrapes off, but it kind of throws your seam off a little bit. And it's just better to not have it than to have it, you know. Just be careful. If it's sticking way up, I don't try and cut it flush. I'll cut it halfway first, cut it close, like this back here. I mean, it's not sticking way up, but it's still. I won't cut it all the way down to the glass the first time or down to the mold. Kind of whittle at it. Gonna whittle at it like so. We start getting a little deep. Just going to pull out, or if it starts to lift up, you're better off stopping and coming at it from the other way. It's all the way cured out, I don't want to lift up so bad. It's a little harder to trim. And also, if it ain't cured out all the way, when this corner lifts up, and you push it back down and it stays down, it looks good. When you pull it out of the mold, you'll see it right there. You'll see it bigger than, bigger than the coon dog on a hot rock. <laughs> That was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> a nice sharp balcony blade. These are my favorite knives to trim this stuff with. It's a, they're flexible, you know, sharp. Think sharp, man. Let's go balcony. <laughs> Well, 
just have to take my word on that one. Now over here where it's trimmed and where it's nice and close, you can just take that off in one swoop. And I'm going to try to take half of it. It's better to try to take your time on these. Picks of that that jet car. <laughs> Guys, one of our fans, he said he learned everything from watching my videos. He's building the coolest jet car thing you ever seen. It's all composite, carbon fiber. But is it gonna have like skis on it and you go on frozen lakes? Is that how that works? He said they're getting ready to go to a meet and it's kind of a drive ride what you bring thing. Now is that they get them big sailing is that where they get them big sails on them tripod of ice skates and haul ass down the lake? <laughs> I think that's what he's talking about. That'd be a hoot, man. Alright, go back here. This is a little trick here. We got a sand a pretty big bevel on it. We're not sanding. between the foam and the lip of the part. If you make, because these, these go down to a pretty sharp point. But that little gap right there, if you fill that up with resin, it gives it a really hard back edge, you know? And uh, it looks good. Don't ding up so easy that way. Ready to join. Remember, I, I, I'm not trenching these out no more. I'm just taking them full ribs, laying them in there, gluing both sides of it, putting them together. No longer uh, trenching that out. It don't need to be. And uh, without it, I don't need no carbon in there, you know. Because with them two ribs, this thing's got to do pretty big enough footprint on the inside of this foam that they're going nowhere. You know, running the spar down there, keep it from collapsing, because that's the biggest fear. If this, if it collapses, it'll fold. If you keep it from collapsing, uh, it won't break. No way, not flying. You know, someone steps on it, yeah. Be fine, be fine. <laughs> 